So if you've seen our video on this, the Rockwell 6C razor, you know how much I love this razor. Great product. We're back today to talk about the Rockwell razors shaving soap. How do I feel about this shaving soap? Eh. Welcome to another Majestic Shaver channel video. We talk about the tools, the technique, and tradition of your classic wet shave. Now you may have seen my video on this razor, the Rockwell 6C, I'll link it below. I'm a huge fan. I think it's one of the best razors that's available. So I'm always excited to see what is Rockwell doing next. Well, as it turns out today, we've got the Rockwell razors shaving soap. What do I think about this soap? Well, there's some positive things about it. However, there's a minor point that kind of bothers me and something else that, well, we'll talk about a little bit later on. First off, what do we get with the Rockwell Razor Shaving Soap? Well, it is four ounces of soap and it goes for $15. So that puts it right about the same price point as something like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Hawaiian Shaving Company. And as you may know from the other videos, I'm always a fan of good quality ingredients. And there are some very nice ingredients. You've got coconut oil, palm oil, glycerin, shea butter, jojoba oil, some really nice natural ingredients. Now, I did mention that there was a minor point of irritation for me. I'm gonna show you what that is right now. This is the aforementioned Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Soap. Now you notice the difference in size. They're both four ounce soaps, but this has a much wider container than the Rockwell. Well. How does that matter? When I go to lather the Rockwell shaving soap, that rather narrow diameter can make it a little tricky to really get your brush in there and work things around and load the brush easily. It's not something major, but it is something that you notice. It would be nice if they would widen that just a little bit. This is just a 24 knot. So if you're dealing with something wider, like a Kong knot at 26 millimeters, you're really gonna notice that. Whereas, again, with the Phoenix shaving, it's a much wider opening and it's a lot easier to load the brush. It's something minor, but it is something that gets your attention as you work with it. When it comes to shaving soap, we're always interested in the lather. So here, you'll notice that I'm lathering it up, loading the brush, and just kind of simulating a face lather by using my hand. And it lathers up very easily. Not a lot of work here involved. This is just a synthetic brush, uh, not even a ton of water. So lathering is easy, it's a snap, Super simple. How about shaving performance? Again, in this part of the video, I am showing some clips from a shave that I did, and I've got just the shaving soap. I didn't use any pre-shave oil, no pre-shave soap. This is just the Rockwell razor soap itself. So again, you see a nice full lather, and I use both a straight razor and a safety razor. So I'm using both in this clip, so you can see how it performs. The safety razor is actually a Rockwell 6C on plate four. That's my preference. And I thought appropriately enough, I would throw a Rockwell blade. So very smooth performance on that. Simple, didn't get a lot of nicks. Uh, same thing with my straight razor. That's my Portland uh, razor company, Hydra razor, which I love so much. And uh, it's nice, pretty slick, no problems. I didn't feel like it was quite as slick as something like a Hawaiian shaving company in particular that I think is really nice, slick and fast, which I like with the straight razor. But it does have a nice cushion to it. I did a three pass shave, no problems at all. And I'll even show you this part here at the end. I've got plenty of lather after all three passes. So performance wise, it's a good performing soap. It's slick enough. If you're using a straight razor, you might some, want something a little faster, like I mentioned, like a Hawaiian shaving company. But it works well with a straight razor and also with the safety razor, no problems at all. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have one minor irritation and that was just the narrowness of the opening to load the brush. Now we come to what really holds me back with this soap. I will put the disclaimer right here. This is strictly personal preference. I've read online reviews and there are some people who go absolutely wild for the scent of the soap. They love it. For me, 
I find it a little bit confusing. The reason why I find it confusing is it is listed as barbershop shaving soap. So I expect a barbershop scent. I know it's a wide genre, can include a lot of different things, but typically I'm thinking maybe talc, some spice, I kind of get the club guy, clubman kind of vibe going, maybe something along the old spice. This one here, even the scent profile, it says leather. Okay, maybe strop. Here's the one where I get tripped up, anise. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anise is basically black licorice. And that is a part of the soap that really throws me off. Now the scent is not overly aggressive. It's not super strong. Scale of one to 10, one being almost absent, 10 being it lingers for days. I would say this is maybe somewhere around a six, six and a half. But that anise note, the black licorice, it really confuses me, it puzzles me. One, just personally, it's not one of my favorite scents. The other part of it is, why is anise in a barber shop? Here's a picture of my grandfather's barber shop. Now, granted, this is a classic barber shop. This picture was taken, I believe, in the early 60s. But I've scoured it and I see no hint of anise or black licorice. And even though this is listed as the third scent in the scent profile on the tin itself, anise is one of those scents you just can't escape. So this is going to be divisive, maybe? You're either going to love that anise note that is so prominent, or it's going to turn you off. It's kind of like patchouli. You love it or you hate it. For me, I find the anise something just unpleasant. It takes away from my shaving experience. When I shave, I want to relax. I want to enjoy it. And that Andis note is inescapable. Again, it puzzles me and it just doesn't work for me. It's subjective, your mileage may vary. So we come down to the last part of the video. Would I recommend this soap? No, but it's sort of a very qualified no. The performance of the soap is very good. As I mentioned, if you're a straight razor shaver, Maybe you want something a little slicker. In that case, I would look elsewhere. But the ingredients are solid. The performance is great. Nice cushion, very easy soap to work with. I think the value at $15 for, for four ounces is about right. I don't think it's quite as good as some other soaps that are at that price point, but it's certainly not out of line. What it really comes down to me is I don't like the scent of black licorice and you can't escape it with this soap. So I would say if you don't mind the scent of anise and particularly if it's something that you enjoy, maybe it takes you back to some memory that you have, this is definitely a great soap for you. I think you'll enjoy it. It's going to give you lots and lots of really good shaves and obviously it partners well with the Rockwell razor. So I don't love it, but then again, that's part of shaving. It's all subjective. And that's why we all have different things in our shaving den. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like or subscribe button there at the bottom. We bring out different product reviews and shaving tips. And again, I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video and I wish everyone out there happy shaving. <laughs>